Ever wondered what a Mechatech FW01 RC car looks like pulled apart into 44,000 different pieces? And there's a track day this Sunday. Hey everyone, it's Mark here and today, well, we're not messing with this pile of polished CNC billet aluminium. No, instead we're celebrating the small success. What's the small success? Well, the channel has hit 255 subscribers today. I know that doesn't sound much into the scale of what's out there on YouTube, but for the RC community on YouTube and uh, for the fifth scale RC community in particular, I think it's, uh, it's, it's something to celebrate. So what does that mean? Some stats behind that. We've had 10,000 views, 1,000 watch time hours, and 255 subscribers. So it's just truly amazing. The participation's been fantastic to you guys have liked, shared, subscribed and commented. So um, in today's video, uh, I'm going to answer some of the questions that were posed on the last video and some videos before. So I'll be answering some of those questions. And it's something I'm gonna do in the future. So I'll be answering at the end of my videos now a question that someone has posed. I think it's awesome to be able to give someone a shout out and to answer their questions in person. So anyway, keep an eye out in the next videos for that. Hey everyone, it's Mark here and today, well, we're not working on the old Mechatech FW01. Instead, something way more exciting. I'm taking you guys on tour 
but don't worry, we're not heading into the kitchen again. No, we're heading to the track. Why do you need to oil bearings, boy? To get the dirt out. Why do you need to get the dirt? Well, you don't get the dirt out by oil them. So what are you doing? Mate, you're picking at that like an old chook. Yeah, in the chook pen. Any lateral movement in the bearing, it needs to be tossed. Let's get these shocks buttoned up. Oh, they feel so much better. Have my pistons at the bottom of the stroke. I make sure the... If you guys haven't rebuilt your shocks in a while, you need to get to it. Because <laughs> they, they feel... Absolutely amazing. All right, the countdown's on. We need to get this mini back together because it's now less than a day before we're heading to the track. I'm out of there. Look at that. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like that? It's hard to believe they came out of the car. They look brand new. Well, there it is, all pulled apart. The job everyone loves to hate. Yeah, that's right, it's putting these stupid diffs together. I'm gonna show you a quick tip today, day, um, to make it uh, heaps easier. Australia, the land of kangaroos and beaches. All right, the first questions come from three different people, but they all ask the same question. So the first person, George, all the way from Athens, Greece. Uh, and we had a George Spex from Australia and La Peru Racing from New Zealand. How about that? From all over the world, pretty incredible. Anyway, their question was uh, to do with oil and what oil I used in the bearings um, when I was cleaning and re-oiling them. George from Athens in Greece noted that he uses grease in his bearings uh, and so he asked what the advantage was between grease and oil. So the grease within a bearing slows the bearing down. You need a thin oil in there to have the bearings operate at high speed. So I guess if we're dealing with uh, 23cc engines, fifth-scale cars, then grease would probably be okay. If you're racing nitro or a smaller scale, definitely don't want to be using grease and you want to be using oil. So what oil? Well, manufacturers do sell specific bearing oils, but for us, there's no need for that. Just use your two-stroke oil. Why use two-stroke oil? Well, it's nice and thin and it's designed for lubricating bearings. How do I know that? Well, the open cage bearings within your engines 
uh, like you can see here, are lubricated from that two-stroke oil and just the mist of it. So uh, these things operate under high load at 20, thousand plus rpm so uh, if you're looking for an oil to use use the two-stroke oil within the bearings just remember the main reason why we're doing that is to clear out all the dust and dirt within the bearings uh, and 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 to re-oil them so uh, just remember though be careful of the seals don't be like old number 27b thomas and be picking at that like an old chook just be very very careful when you're popping those seals out because you really don't want to be damaging those uh, another question, this time from James T. Here in Australia, James is racing uh, off-road cars, one-fifth scale off-road cars, which is awesome. James's question to me was to do with fuel mixtures and what fuel mixture I run. So Zanoa recommends a 25 to one ratio from the factory. So that's 40 mils of oil per liter of fuel. What do I run? I run 33, 34 to one, which is about 30 mils per litre of fuel. Why do I run that? I don't know, I rebuilt my own engine, so uh, I'm a little bit biased about that all, but if I was recommending anyone that, uh, that wasn't rebuilding their own engines and doing their own maintenance to run the stock 25 to one, the key with this is to make a critical oil measurement every time. Every time you add a little bit more or a little bit less oil, you, you, um, changing your tune of your engine so again if you're not handy with a screwdriver on the carby and, and out there fiddling with your engine and playing with the tune of it you need to be critical with your oil measurements and make sure that you're using the same amount of oil every time another important note too is uh, oil quality the higher quality of the oil the, the longer life you're going to get out of this uh, out of these engines so keep that in mind so last question comes from Nitro GT Racer all the way from Japan, which is amazing again. Anyway, he said if the fairies could deliver me a Zanora cylinder uh, with any mods I could have in it, what would they be? The answer is pretty simple, a removable head so I can adjust the compression ratio. Why would I want a removable head and just not use the base gasket like we do normally to, to change the compression ratio? Well, when we alter the base gasket thickness, we also alter the port timing. So that transfer, that transfer port timing is another critical adjustment within a two-stroke engine. And I would love to be able to alter both independently. So a removable head would do that. So if the Zanoa gods are listening, make a removable head. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was great to look back at all that B-roll from the last videos. I really, really enjoyed that. I've had so much fun making those videos. Anyway, another reminder to subscribe, like and share. We need to get the word out there. We need to show YouTube that there is an RC community out here and we are alive and kicking. Um, so RC cars are great, remember that. And we need to promote the support wherever we can and we need to support each other in doing so. So thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next video.